Is Rogan over Bart Glass? Oh yes, it's sad, but it's true. Most definitely. What was Blizzard thinking when they made this class? Uh, what is overpowered? Is Rogue under Bart Glass? Oh yes, it's sad, but it's true. Most definitely. What was Blizzard thinking when they made this class? Uh, what is underpowered? Indeed, rogues were designed to be damage dealers and take other players while unguarded. Just because a rogue killed you in outdoor PvP doesn't mean they are overpowered now. No. Coming out of nowhere to get the first hit is just one of the features that describe being a rogue. Rogues have their list of pros and cons, just like all other classes. The only role that rogues can play is the one of dealing damage, so we have to do this well. The problem is that many players which got killed by a rogue while unguarded were unaware of what was coming to him, getting slashed to death in no time, and thus assuming that rogues were overpowered. But here's the point. Being invisible, getting the first shot, the element surprise, high crit chance, strike when advantage is greatest. This is what formed the class Rogue. In a duo, the Rogue is technically in disadvantage, this is because he no longer has the element surprise. If the opponent is aware of the Rogue and know how to play his class, he will force the Rogue out of stealth and being able to get the first hit over him. Wrong. Cloth is a gear with low armor stat, but casters can compensate this with a self buff that will either provide armor and or stamina. Unlike other classes buff, which remain for a short time, the caster's buff will remain for 30 minutes. The rogue self buff come mostly from our cooldowns, may use reagents and will only stay for a few seconds. Abilities like sprint, blind, vanish, dodge are purely defensive, they won't do damage, but can give us an edge to escape from a battle. We must keep in mind that such abilities weren't made entirely for PvP. And this goes for our classes. Tell me precisely how good is dodge against the caster, and crit chance when he does know how to play his class and kite the rogue. You talk as if rogues were the only class to be able to crit. Remember that rogues were made to have a high crit chance. Most of a melee class damage come from their own weapons, but not so for casters. If we have a melee and a caster, both with a decent gear, and we take away their weapons for low level weapons, then the melee is the one who will lose more in this way. When it comes to damage, casters will always do their full damage. A spell that says that it will hit for 500 damage, it will mostly hit for 500 damage, ignoring the armor stat no matter how high is it. Once a spell is launched, there isn't much the opponent can do. The spell will either hit, crit, or if he was lucky, he will resist. Unlike melee classes, where their attacks can be missed, dodged, buried, blocked, and will suffer them a reduction from the opponent's armor. There is a reason why casters are limited to cloth. You can't get as much defense and offense stats as others. If casters could get as much armor and crit chance as other classes, then you would be monstrously overpowered. As a rogue, taking our fools by surprise is not an advantage, but it's part of being a rogue. 